Hi guys, in this video we are going to discuss the problem K increment palindromes from starter 77 of code shift. So this technically is a very easy problem. I was really not expecting such a problem in the division one that to the third problem in division one. So let's get started with the problem itself. So the problem states that chef has an array A of size n and an integer k. He can perform the following operations on A any number of times. So he can select any k distinct indices. The point to be noted over here is that these elements are distinct and they need not be contiguous. right? So after selecting those k in, uh, indices, he increments the array elements at this k indices by 1. So yeah. So for example, let's say this is the array and he selects uh, the k indices uh, or the three indices as 2, 3 and 5. So the elements at, uh, at location 2 is 2 itself, so 2 becomes 3, the element at location 3 is 8, so it becomes a 9, the element at location 5 is 6, so it becomes a 7. Cool. So there's no limit on the number of operations he can perform, so he can perform any number of operations. The only thing he wants is that if it's, uh, if it's possible to make the area palindrome after applying this operation uh, any number of times, then we have to print a yes. If it's not possible to make the area palindrome after applying these operations, then we simply have to print a no. So that's it about the question. The constraint are uh, actually k is, uh, k is less than equal to uh, n and n is less than equal to 10 to the power 5. So it's pretty obvious that we need an order of n or an order of n log n solution over here. Order of n square solution is gonna fail. But the problem is fairly simple. So let's just get started with the solution. Uh, for this problem, what I'll do is that I'll walk you through the code and meanwhile I'll uh, try to teach you that what was the intuition behind it. So let's get started with the code itself. So what I'm doing is firstly I'm taking the uh, vector as the input. Then I'm checking that if, it, if it's already a palindrome. So how to check a palindrome? That's basic stuff, right? If it's already, I'm, I'm definitely not gonna explain this code. This is basic stuff and I'm hoping that you can, uh, you already know it. You can actually do n divided by 2 over here, but it doesn't really matter. Cool. So if it's already a palindrome, then we have to print a yes, right? Else I'm saying if my k is equal to n. Now the point to be noted over here is that we already checked if it's a palindrome. If it was a palindrome, then we would have printed yes and we would have returned from this function. Now if we have reached this particular line of code, then that means that the array was not a palindrome. So now if it's not a palindrome if it, and if k is equal to n, in that case my answer never exists. Now how can I say that? So the thing to be noted is that let's say this is my array A, B, C, D and since I'm saying it's not a palindrome then either A is not equal to B or B is not, oh, sorry A is not equal to D or B is not equal to C or both of them right. So let's just consider that A is not equal to D. Now since my K is, uh, K is equal to N so in every operation I have to select all the indices so after let's say even x amount of operations the array would become a plus x b plus x c plus x and d plus x right now if a is not equal to d then a plus x is not equal to d plus x that's obvious right so after applying any number of operations we cannot make a non palindrome array a palindrome array if k is equal to n so that was basic stuff so if that's happening then i'll simply print a no now this is a simple trick or I'll say a simple intuition. So what I'm saying over here is that if my k is odd or my n is odd, then the answer always exists. Now, how can I say that? Now, let's say my k is odd. By that, what I can do is that, let's say this was the same array, a, b, c, d. And over here, the only thing that was not following is that a is not equal to d, let's say. Cool. And uh, let's say that k is equal to 3 over here. So uh, uh, right now I'm discussing if k is odd, then the answer will always exist, right? So over here k is odd, odd, right? So what, uh, let's say the difference between a and d was equal to x. So basically d minus a is equal to x. So in order to make it a palindrome, if I am able to write it like a plus x and then d and then b and c over here, then it would become a palindrome, right? So what I'm going to do is that I'll select the element a, I'll increment it by x. And I'll, uh, so one element uh, index is already selected. I need to select the remaining two indices for that. I'll select B and C. So it will be B plus X and C plus X and then D. So after that B and C was already equal. So they remain equal. And now A plus uh, A plus X is equal to D as I initially said. So now uh, even this is equal. So now is, uh, why is this a general criteria? So the reason it's a general criteria is that since my K is odd, right? 
so because my k is odd so one of the indices that i want to select would be the one which i want to manipulate so over here i wanted to manipulate the value of a so i selected a as one of the indices the remaining k minus i indexes so since k is odd so k minus y i would be even sorry k minus 1 would be even so i can select the pairs now how would i select the pairs so i would be selecting the corresponding indices what do i mean by corresponding indices so let's say this was a b c d e f g right so the corres by corresponding indices i mean that a is uh, a should be equal to g right b should be equal to f c should be equal to e and d doesn't matter because it's the middle index so now i know that i don't want to change whatever the relative difference there is between these pairs so i don't want to change the relative difference between d and f or uh, relative difference between c and e so i'll be calling these as pairs so i'll call that d and f is a pair and c and e is a pair now if i'm selecting a pair so if i'm selecting b and f i'm incrementing both of these values at as by x so it does not changing uh, changes anything in my entire array because if they were already similar they would still re remain similar if they were not they will uh, they will not so the relative difference remain the same so that's what i mean by uh, by pairs over here so this concept of pair would actually be used further also so please keep that in mind so that's uh, that's something i can do so if my k is odd i can select one one of the elements that i want to manipulate and and i can select the remaining uh, remaining elements as pairs so that's obvious or that's understandable now that why would answer exist if my k is odd but why would my answer exist if n is odd now answer was already existing if k is odd right so now i have to check if k is not odd then also my answer is not uh, odd or i can say is that k is even right but n is odd even then the answer exists now why is that the case in case n is odd i would be having a center element right now let's say uh, the center element is c now whatever let's say i wanted to manipulate a uh, element a so i'll be adding whatever values i want to do this then i can select some amount of pairs so let's say i selected f amounts of pairs or p amount of pairs right but still since pairs are actually even or even number of elements would be there in pairs this were actually a single element but still one element would be remaining so uh, to as uh, so as to complete the k element uh, k indices right so for that i can select the middle element because we don't care about the middle element if we add any amount of values to mid uh, middle element let's say we add z to it still it won't matter to us because we don't need to compare the middle element to any other element right so technically our array the palindromic nature of the array would still remain so that's the claim if my n is odd then also the answer always exists i hope you are able to follow that if you are not able to follow with that you can comment below or you can try rewinding the video a bit and try to understand it again by maybe driving the code itself now if k is equal to n minus 1 then also the answer always exists now why is that the case okay so back back over here now a b c d e and f let's say so this is connected to this this is connected to this this is connected to this now if a is equal to n minus 1 then what i can say is that let's say i wanted to uh, check or i wanted to increment let's say a so this was the array and let's say everything else was equal only there was a difference between a and f so a is not equal to f and the difference was x right so now what i can do is that i can increment all the elements other than f so barring f i can increment all the elements by x so it becomes a plus x b plus x c plus x d plus x and e plus x right so now since uh, c and d were already equal so c plus x would also be equal to d plus x or in other words we can say they, uh, their relative uh, difference remains unchanged now since b and uh, e were al already equal so their also re relative difference remains equal however the difference between f and a was actually x so after uh, incrementing a by x and not incrementing f by anything so even they would become equal cool so that's the claim and that's also easy to understand now what's this right over here so what i'm doing is i'm uh, selecting the absolute differences between all the pairs so the pair over here can be formally said as a v of i or the element at the ith location and the element at the n minus i minus 1 location right so these are the pairs uh, if you remember we already discussed about the pairs in this video 
so i want to check the absolute differences between these pairs cool now if this difference is a even number then the answer exists now why is that the case so again back back to the point by this what i mean is that if we have reached till this point then we know that n is even and k is even right by k is even what would happen is that let's say if i want to manipulate a element a after that i can uh, manipulate a fixed uh, zero or more pairs as required so this won't change anything but i also have to manipulate one other L, uh, index right so if my k is even oh sorry k is even is already known but if the absolute difference is even right then the uh, pair i'm like the extra element i am uh, manipulating over here i can also manipulate the corresponding element to it so let's say the uh, extra element i was manipulating over here let's say it was a of uh, maybe a of x or a of let's say f right and let's say its corresponding element was maybe a of p cool so in one of the operations when i'm manipulating this extra element i i would manipulate a of f but in the next operation i would manipulate a of, a of uh, p so this uh, after one operation this would become a of f plus 1 but after the second operation this would become a of p plus 1 after the third operation it would become a of f plus 1 after the fourth operation it would be become a of p plus 1 now after uh, this was after one uh, one operation this was after second operation this was after third operation this was after four, fourth operation now if the number of operations are even so let uh, like 2 4 6 etc then you can say that the absolute difference between f and p does not changes however if the number of operations are odd then the difference would change right so since i want the difference to be same hence if the number of operations that are required or the absolute difference that is over there if it's even so if it's like 2 4 6 8 so on then the answer would always exist right else the answer won't exist so that's exactly what i've done over here i'm just calculating the absolute difference now if the difference is divisible by 2 or if it's even then i'll print a yes if that's not the case then i'll print a no yeah that's it for the question i think the video is a bit long but i wanted to explain the code by and by so as i was coding it up uh, like as the code goes i wanted to explain everything in detail uh, let me know if you still have any doubts always more than willing to help you out cool guys thanks a lot for watching this video bye bye